When students enter the new Gloria Marshall Elementary School in Spring ISD this year, they will find not just a new school, but a new kind of school. It's just such an amazing place. And when I walk in, I think about what a great place for kids to learn and for teachers to teach. It is Spring ISD's first green school. Each classroom is designed to maximize the natural outdoor daylight. Solar panels will supplement some of the energy needs and a wind turbine in the playground will produce power as well. A series of underground water wells at the site will cycle water to assist in heating and cooling the school. This geothermal system is expected to help the school substantially reduce its energy consumption. The students will be learning from all of this. They can learn from the building, they can learn from the environment, they can learn from the energy savings, uh, it is the conservation, uh, water usage, electrical usage, it's just amazing to me. Every, everywhere you look, outside and inside, is um, a, a teaching tool in this building. The school is being noticed across the state. Texas School Business Magazine featured the building in a recent issue. While the school may gain notice for its outside features, the learning on the inside will be different as well. Not only is the setting itself unique, but you know the instruction is going to be different also. It's going to be very much a project-based learning where the students will learn through projects that are created with the learner in mind, where they're actually discovering why things work and why how they're going to solve a problem and all the other uh, curriculum is going to be integrated into these projects. Because ideally we want them to think about the whole school, like not just their classroom, but the whole school as their learning environment. Educators are hoping this school will inspire students to identify problems and help solve them. But then they would have to problem solve that right. and figure out how to do that. They would need to probably take some data and some temperature readings on during the day, mm -hmm. how hot it gets, when's the hottest point of the day. It's not only the sun that brings learning opportunities to Marshall Elementary. The students will be learning rain or shine. But if you look through that tube, you can see the rainwater coming in. Rainwater collected on the roof is piped through a classroom and collected in a large cistern just outside the building. You can see you can measure it and it can collects it. The water can then be channeled through a concrete trough to study erosion. It then drains into the school's pond where students can control the water level and study different environmental conditions. And when you look at the materials, you look at the setting, you look at all the extra features that tie in math and science, the building is surrounded with learning and you can't help be impressed by that from the moment you walk in the door. I look forward to the day that students will be in this building and teachers will be in this building. Uh, it will come alive then. It's a beautiful facility now. Uh, the heartbeat will begin the day that school begins in this building.